Welcome back to your sport. And if you've just switched your tally on, where have you been? And good morning to you. Now, Ipilin Kuno defied the odds when he took part in the Two Oceans Half Marathon in, on crutches back in 2018. He joins us in studio as South Africa celebrates National Disability Rights Awareness Month, which is, of course, from the 3rd of November until the 3rd of December. Now, Kuno was born with septo-optic dysplasia, a rare brain condition that causes the loss of balance and affects one's eyesight. Now, as I said, he is live here with us. Thank you so much for making the time to uh, join us today. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Ibeleng. Now, just tell us, what exactly is septo-optic dysplasia? Uh, septo-optic dysplasia it basically means I was born without balance and I have to learn how to balance myself throughout life. So, yeah. And um, just talk to me quickly about the eyesight. I see it affects your eyesight as well, but I mean, as you can see, I wear glasses. Yeah. I can't see either. Um, but I'm, I'm sure with uh, this condition, it's slightly different. Tell us a bit about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Basically, I've had to learn to focus with my eyes because of the balance thing. I've also had to learn how to focus. So, yeah. Now, um, Ippeling, um, what was it like growing up with a disability? And I ask you this because... You know, just being in school for any individual, whether they have a disability or not, kids are mean. So what was it like for you growing up with a disability? Uh, obviously, I grew up to a, an amazing mother, so I've always had that support where I've always felt like I was special, special in terms of that uh, I have something that is different, but I'm also part of the society, so, yeah. Well, you definitely are. Now... The Two Oceans uh, Marathon, how did you decide on that? I had a look at your profile, and I see that this positivity, this enthusiasm that you have, it didn't just start yesterday. I mean, you've been doing this for the longest time. When you were yeah, under 13, I think it was, when you won that bronze medal with archery. And I mean, just doing archery as an adult, I've tried it, is extremely uh, difficult. Um, so where did this positive attitude come from? Where did this love for um, adventurous sport come from? Uh, Nicole needed to lose weight a few years ago, so uh, for me, running was probably the most uh, adaptable way. It was probably the most adaptable way that I could do it, which wasn't too expensive and which was accessible. So, yeah. Now, um, talk to me also about, and I, um, again, I'm going to emphasize, and I said this to you previously. To me, it's not a disability. I'll emphasize more on differently abled. And with it being, of course, Disability Awareness Month, you telling us what it was like, you know, growing up, being in school, there are many kids out there who are also going to school and they might not have the very positive support of mother that you have. There are many kids out there who are orphans. There are many kids who don't have that foundation, you know. So for them who are watching right now, um, positive message can you pass on to them for them to see that they don't have a disability they're just differently abled i think it's very important that the communities around us all just focus more on the disability because of when it comes to pe pe people living with disability we so tend to focus on the what they can't do but rather how differently they can do it so uh, i think we should maybe just focus on how differently can we make the world accessible for persons with limitations accessible that's yeah. the, the key point there now with it being disability awareness month how do you feel about that my colleague Maseho uh, just had a guest and one of the things that she spoke about in terms of activism for women you know the 16 days I think she used the word it's, it's, it's a farce and I have to say I agree with it because it's something that should be focused on the entire year every yeah. single day of our lives forever not just for a certain period of time so how do you feel as a differently abled individual where we have this one month um, of the entire you know, year that you have in your life dedicated to uh, persons that are differently abled? Uh, I think it's a month in theory which is not really there because of, uh, most of people don't know that it was a disability month. But for me, I would really like to invite the ministers and all the guys in the government to be more hands-on, to start making uh, the world more accessible so that the people living with disability can also contribute to the society. I mean, uh, if we can work, we can also contribute to the economy. So for me, I would just like to appeal to that. So when you speak about the accessibility, what is the one thing that you would like people who don't have a disability to know? It's, it's little things yeah. that we don't think about. Something small, like I saw on your profile, you're in Pretoria, and I thought, how's he getting here? 
can he drive? You know, we don't think about those things. Yeah. So if I, um, you know, I'm sitting in my seat, I don't have any friends, or I don't know anyone who's differently abled, and I don't know what their challenges are, what is, it, what is the one thing that you could, if you could give that message to all people, what would it be? Uh, I'd like to say whenever we build or we buy something, think of it as, uh, buy it in a way where you think of it as you being with, you know, as you being a person living with disability, how can I make it easier for the next person to access it, you know, so that it's inclusive for everyone. Now, talk to me also about transformation, uh, Ipiling. We have um, this word that comes up all the time, and I think quite often we make the mistake of limiting it to colour. Yeah. When we speak about transformation, and transformation is huge. Transformation is the involvement of women as well. Um, it is the involvement of differently able people as well. And what do you want us to know when we use the word transformation? I think transformation, uh, I would like to see persons living with disabilities being called out also to be part of the society because of what we tend to do is they all, uh, I'd like to say you guys tend to think of <laughs> us but I'd like it to be a point where we say, how can we have an inclusive society? So with, transform with our transformation, I would definitely like uh, the government to be more hands-on to say, how can uh, they be a part of it rather than they are uh, one-sided? How can we make things easier for them? Definitely. Yeah. Ipuleng, quickly, before we go, I want to know about the the two oceans half marathon that you did on crutches. I know you said you started running because you really wanted to lose weight. I hate, personally, I hate running. Um, and it also is not an easy thing to do. So how did you decide, um, knowing the difficulties that, would be, that you'd be faced with, having to run on crutches, what made you make that decision? Uh, for some odd reason, I enjoyed walking. So running is just a faster way. So I've always walked, you know, so for me, it just was a perfect fit and yeah, I mean, currently I'm running for the best running club in the country, so can't be happier. Just a little bit of show off there, the best running club in the country. <laughs> so where to from here? Uh, I'm hoping that uh, I can lobby around the world to make running on crutches a uh, sport because at the moment that is not a Paralympic sport. So, so that we can have more athletes on crutches also being able to participate and win stuff because at the moment I'm just a social runner. I will never have that opportunity to win stuff because of there's no category for crutches. So at the moment that's really something that I'm really pushing for. Okay, well you've said it now on television, there's no category for crutches. So hopefully someone out there is listening and hopefully soon there will be a category for crutches because I don't believe in the word never and you hopefully will be able to partake in that and you will be able to win that medal. And you're on my social media, we see each other running, so invite me, we'll run together. Thank you so much for making the time that is Ipeling Kuno, defying the odds. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, he did the two oceans half marathon back in 2018 on crutches big thank you to him for joining us today now that is